Hello and welcome to the program. Now, the much-anticipated Ikiti State governorship election is finally done and dusted with the candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Kayode Fayami, emerging victorious. Fayami, a one-time governor of the state, got 197,459 votes to defeat the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Kolakbo Olushola Eleka, who got 178,000 votes. 121 votes. Now, Fayami also won in 12 out of the 16 local government areas in the state, while Olushola uh, won only four, won in four local government areas. So, in summary, the 2018 poll saw 909,585 people registered to vote. However, only 405,000 861 people were accredited to vote on election day. The total number of valid votes is, was actually 384,594, while 18,857 votes were rejected out of 403,451 votes cast. Now, the polls has been described as fair by some observers, though the PDP candidate has alleged manipulation of the figure. It is not yet clear if he will contest the result in court, but that seems very, very likely. When you consider uh, the difference now, uh, the difference, the margin, the margin, uh, the margin between uh, both candidates. Uh, now, this will be Fire Me's second stint in office following an earlier reign between 2010 and 2014. In his reaction after the victory was announced, President Muhammad Buhari, of course, uh, charged Fire Me to ensure he keeps his campaign promises of improving the lives of Ekiti residents. And I can tell you it's very, very important because as we speak today, uh, things are very tough in that state. Workers of that state have not been paid for several months and um, everyone believes the issue of salaries was, of course, one of the issues uh, during that election. So people of that state, the workers of that state, have not been paid for several months. And if you consider the fact that uh, the majority of the people in that state, that's the majority of the workers now, are civil servants, then you understand why it's important that salaries get paid. Because as you speak, with salaries not paid, the economy of that state is down. And so the next governor of that state has got a lot of work to do. And uh, some people have said he's got to start from salaries. Now, the president also commended the Independent National Electoral Commission for a successful conduct of the polls. Fire Me on his part uh, described his victory on uh, that's his victory now as one for reclaiming the land and restoring equity values. Now the win also ensures the APC now has uh, control of the six states in the southwest of the country. But one other issue that cropped up during this election, and everybody has been talking about it, there was so much money, so much money, I should say exchanged hands. Uh, this was an election a lot of people will tell you was more like a cash and carry election. And uh, both sides, of course, uh, are alleged to have been involved in, you know, the vote buying, if you like. Uh, the PDP gave out money, allegedly. The APC, too, did the same thing. At some point, it was more like, uh, well, the highest be there. And of course, of course, some of the candidates actually had something to say about it. Just take a listen to them. Though on the surface, people will say it's uh, peaceful, but peace is relative. Peace is not necessarily only the absence of violence. This process has been heavily compromised and manipulated. Though the police, the security agencies, they are doing their best. There has been no complaint from the INEC angle. But you will discover that both APC and PDP, they are doing what we call festival of money. They are competing to outplay each other. People are now going for the highest bidder. The state government started with, with public fund. They posted money, the state government, uh, state government posted money into the accounts of all civil servants, local government staff, teachers and pensioners, including myself and my wife, who are pensioners, with the instruction that we should go and vote for PDP. I have it on my own phone. 
And right on the field there, APC is giving out 5,000. 5, While PDP, apart from the 3,000 3, that they have posted into our accounts as logistics to go and vote for PDP today, they are also giving out 4,000. 4, no, the process has been bastardized with uh, C and by that the two major parties are doing the APC and the PDP. You can see it on BBC. You know, I show you something on BBC. I, somebody just sent it to me on WhatsApp. And our agents on the field, that's the same thing they are saying. But assuming that they allow the people to vote their conscience, people are ready to vote the two of them out. Uh, unless I, I have been shouting since 12 o'clock that we still have about four hours. If the security agents have been able to stop them by 12 o'clock, I mean, there is no way either of them can win the election. But if the way Nigeria wants to continue, then good luck to Nigeria. But we know that God will send somebody. Okay. And, and in AKT, I'm still very hopeful because what people are looking for is somebody to deliver them from poverty. They don't want this 5,000 or 4,000 that they will take once in four years. They want real opportunity for growth, for development, and for deliver, taking them out of poverty line. I can't really uh, say exactly the process involved, but I'm not an expert in that. But one of the INEC national commissioners uh, came in, and uh, after I have spoken with the INEC headquarters, uh, I think they, they found a way out of it. And so I've been able to cast my vote after uh, doing the proper accreditation. Now, th there's just no way we wouldn't listen to the, uh, well, he's the incumbent governor of the state, uh, Ayo Fayoshi. He was actually not on the ballot, but, you know, the election was more like he was the one on the ballot because he campaigned vigorously uh, for his deputy, who was the candidate. And um, shortly after casting his vote, just take a listen to what he said. The process has been hijacked by security agencies. It is a national disgrace for the security agencies, national disaster, and there is danger ahead. Remember, we raised all these issues. As I speak to you, they said they deployed 30,000 policemen, military, paramilitary, and all that. As I speak to you, thugs are snatching ballot boxes everywhere under the cover of the police. And what they call see and buy money politics is thriving everywhere with the police and civil defense giving signs to people bearing the money so that they can pay their, the voters. This is a national, national disaster. And I raised all these alarms that this election may be marred by, viol by violence and that's exactly what's going on now. In almost all local governments, PDP chieftains have been arrested. Council chairman, House of Rep members, majority of my people have been arrested. My chief of staff is in detention. He was arrested about an hour ago. This is national disaster. We fight corruption, but wrong people in authority is the worst thing that can happen to any nation. The Bible says when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked are in authority, this is what we see. If this is the sample for 2019, I think it's a lost ground and it's a hopeless expectation. I want to say very expressly that the security agencies are enemies of Nigeria. Would you want to agree with me that card readers are not working in more than 50% of the places? In a far lie, most of the units card readers are not working. You have some, some units where they have only accredited 20 people, where one, where, where one voter spends up to about 30, 40 minutes. Some will never f have their fingers go through. It, it is, they call it, they call it uh, uh, enhanced. I think I need, INEC needs to be enhanced. I am not going to be here preempting elections. We have to state what it is as at now. I'm winning this election this yes, yes, There's a difference between what I'm narrating and my capacity to win. Yes, 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 Hold on one second. Yes, There's a difference between, on top of all that I do it, I will still win this election because I, this state 
I am in charge by 80% by the grace of God. I won the last election by 82,000 votes. How do they recover from that 82,000 votes? Even if you cut the head of 82,000 people, they can't get far. Life or death that, that they are carrying around, I will still win this election. Well, joining me now to discuss uh, these elect the outcome of the election further is Libros Oshoma, who is a lawyer and a political analyst. Libros, thank you very much for coming on the program. You My look pleasure. at the difference, the margin between the winner and the loser, 19,338. Uh, quite, 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 uh, quite tight margin. No one would have expected that um, it was going to be this close. Yeah, um, somebody asked me a day to the election that um, what do I think? I'd say it's going to be a 50-50 thing from what, what I am seeing. The margin, uh, you're not going to hear of moon slide or landslide and all, all, all kinds of slides, but um, it was a close one. It was a tough one, um, especially what you, 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 you saw play out in the kitty was... Um, you know, incumbent against incumbent. Incumbent, yeah, exactly. um, incumbent in the against, state. <laughs> incumbent in the state and incumbent at the federal. <laughs> and, and so it was um, cash for cash, might for might, and, you know, to a very large extent also, um, rhetorics for rhetorics. So let's see who woos the people more. And um, also, um, there are a lot of um, issues also that, you, you know, um, were at play in the election. Um, you also you raised the issue of salaries. And then also the issues, issue of um, um, style of governance. Um, we had seen, a lot of people had seen um, Fire Me's part one. And then um, in the last election, the, you know, he was rejected at the polls. That's the 2014. Um, Fire O'Shea came in. And some people also are not too impressed with um, Fire O'Shea's style. They had uh, hoped that um, was going to change he was going to change time. and he was going to up the ante. But, um, you know, he continued with um, his... Um, style of uh, Mamala and, um, you know, Kadarida uh, governance. And so some people also were not too happy with, um, with all of that. And, and so you saw the backlash or the back and forth before the election, the, the politics of um, insecurity, policing, and the rest. One would have expected that uh, Ikiti would go up in flames on, on the day of election. And, but f Let, fortunately... You, you know, yeah, everything it, it, it went happen. I mean, security, yeah. security was tight. Let, let's talk about this issue of, um, you know, financial inducement. Um, uh, yes, it's true. Money, I mean, from what we have seen, money actually exchanged hands and all of that. But, but would you say the outcome of this election was basically about uh, money? That, that the people basically voted because um, they, they got money from the candidates? No, no, no. You, you see, that's one thing politicians do not understand. Realize. They don't realize that you still can get the same vote without necessarily inducing the people with money. You remember in... Um, Although it was a uh, debate, so that even, uh, even when you induce, the people the, would still, would still decide vote. to vote the way they want to vote. In uh, Medo, then it was okay, vote, let me see your vote, and uh, before I give you something. You know, there are still people who would collect the money or vote the, the, the party they ordinarily wanted to vote for. And then still tell you, you see, I voted for your party, so give me something. And so if you look at the results, one would have expected, with you know the kind of money you 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 hear we hear that uh, was um, you know being shared. One would have expected that the party that would win would win with you know a very large margin. You know, but then it shows that because also if you have been following the politics of Ekiti and what has been happening, you know, you would if you re related with the people on ground you would also understand why the result is this way because it's, they've been divided. A lot of people had hopes, they had dreams, they had expectations from the current gov governor, the outgoing one now, but it didn't come. And so some felt, oh, we were regretting that we would have allowed the previous one to continue. And so it was, you know, a dicey one. So the, at the end of the day, the politicians will warehouse funds that are meant for development, for infrastructure, and share on election day. And, and salary is the something you don't play with, especially exactly. in a state like that. Only for the results to still come out the same way it ought to have been, even if money were not shared. And so it should be a learning point for our politicians. And also, it should also tell us that you don't really need to 
you know, warehouse funds or steel funds so that you use on election day. If you use most of these funds, this money that they are sharing with land, in some cases, some people got 10,000, some 5,000, some 20, depending And these on are people who have not been paid salaries. Paid salaries. Be because we, we had, know? for instance, the, deputy, so, the, the former deputy governor of the state who was also a candidate, uh, a pensioner as well. Pensioners had not been paid for several months. Salaries of workers had not you, been paid. And he said just a day before the election, he got a 4,000 naira a lakh from the state government. Uh, that's what I'm saying. So that if if... All of these funds that you now begin to share on election day, if you had used them to pay salaries, and some people also, because if you pay a, a worker, let's say a worker who earns 100,000 naira, he's not going to warehouse the 100,000 naira. Absolutely That's 100,000 naira will in turn pay some other people who pay artisans. And that way and the that, economy. That way the economy, there's funds in the economy. So people will be able to create other opportunities. But you wait until a day of election, a man you're owing six months salary, you give him 4,000 hours, you expect that that 4,000 hours will induce him to voting for you? You must be joking. And so that's why for me, I said categorically, I don't think that these funds that they were sharing played any role in the election. Otherwise... It, it would have played some role, but not, yes, not so... Yes, not, 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 not so, not so significant. You know, because the people, to some extent also, some would want continuity, some would be tired. Absolutely. And so if you see the results, you would have expected that, oh, look, if, if like they said, the, 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 the party at the center, the APC, had more money to share, so you would have expected that the margin would be so wide. But no. The people decided that this is the way they want to go. And I also would expect, because what played out in 2014 to a very large extent also played out in 2018. The security and then, you know, you hear um, allegations of um, harassment and the rest. But in spite of all of that, Fire Me accepted that result, even though his party contested it. But he accepted. And, and, and congratulated. With, and congratulated. Yeah. That day I shed tears. And so I also expect Fayoshe and um, uh, Professor Ishola to also see this as, you know, the, the, the voice of the people. Now, and is, so, is, that, is that really going to happen? Because the, the, I, I the, doubt. Gov the governor, I doubt. The governor but, we but, know, went to the state, um, I, uh, the state uh, broadcasting, uh, that's the radio station yes. now, to, to announce that. Uh, that for, me, for me, that was, that was, that was, that was childish and unsportsmanly. He, in 2014, we all saw what happened in the kitty. We knew what played out. And for me also, I also still insist that there is no way in Nigeria you can run election without security, even though the numbers to a very large extent, you know, Absolutely. these days, I, it's I, I frightening. That there's no way you can run but without. there's no way you can conduct election without security personnel on ground because the, the attitude of, a Nigeria, of our politicians, until our politicians and their supporters change their attitude, we would not be able to get to that day where you just walk into the pool, cast your vote. But that said, we should, uh, that's why for me, when I hear the banters back and forth on, oh, this AKT in uh, 2018, I knew what played out in 2014. But I am not saying because people were harassed in 2014, there should be a repeat performance. But what I'm saying is, uh, politicians also, we need to call them to order. We also need to let them know that this is not a do or die affair. You should be able to convince me with plans and programs on why I, would, what, what, I should what would you, vote what, for what you. What would you say this, this outcome now? What, what does it represent for the APC and the PDP? Because the PDP had been looking up to, uh, looking, looking up to this election to sort of you know, reestablish itself, not just in the South West, but across the country, it needed this election to 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 sort of, you know, I don't want to use the word uh, the, the words bounce back now. And for the APC, yeah, you, it, it you, needed you, this uh, this this outcome now uh, to to reestablish the fact that it's it's a party. No, so do, no, do you no, no, think you see, this the, would have the, any bearing the, at all? Uh, uh, if if going if either of the party is um, relying on, let me take start from the starting from the APC. If the APC is relying on the out outcome it's of the kitchen, mm. uh, the election to 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 weigh its popularity with the people, then it will be very much deceiving itself because um, politics, that's far all from it. politics are local. Yeah, anyway. uh, that's mm -hmm. far from it because the people of Ekiti will decide, have decided on the basis of the local politics in Ekiti. And in the same vein, if PDP ordinarily were expecting to use this one to bounce back or to test their, their acceptability, also they would be deluding themselves because 
also, it is the politics. If if the candidate had won, you would say it is the way Fireshay played politics in Ekiti. And also, it is the way that Fireshay played politics in Ekiti that led to the result that you're seeing today. Okay, you, but you, you think he partly cost them that? Election. Yes, he, he partly did. He partly did. You know, because there were a lot of hopes, there were a lot of expectations, Absolutely. you know, but he, he dropped Probably the bottom. Probably cost them the election. Yeah. And then, secondly, for the APC, government, the, the larger Nigeria is not the same way a kitty is. You know, there are a lot of, a lot of dissatisfaction everywhere. There are a lot of killings going on in Nigeria, and people had consistently been calling on the president to do something. There's hunger in the land, there's sickness, there's, you know, so there are a lot. So the, all, the, all of these issues, you need to address them. Unlike a kitty also, where you had so much, to, it's, it's just one election. Mm -hmm. The, uh, for the general election, you're not going to have the kind of concentration of security. security. You're not also not. not going to have the kind of concentration of funds. How much are you going to steal to share to every Nigerian to vote now, for you? So, very quickly so, also, uh, this issue of uh, voter inducement, how do you think it can be checked? Until INEC, INEC decides. No, be because how, you, how can INEC see, deal with no, this? No, it, It's against the law. Deji, a, as we speak now, if INEC decides to say, look, both political parties. There is ample evidence that you induce voters, and so to that extent, we have disqualified both political parties. The heavens won't fall. You can call them, yes, the, 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 the main political parties, but if INEC is able to establish the fact that, look, you, we can conveniently, we can prove beyond reasonable doubt that you both induce voters and being a criminal offense, and so that also affected the outcome of the election. And so, to that extent, we have nullified the result for the two political parties. And so, the next political party who's been established not to have induced uh, voters that's a tough call. you know, that, that's what I'm saying. It's a tough one because we're in this climate. We call. see things like that as a, t a tough one, they're going forward. But, Okay. But really, but really, we the only way, the G, that's the only way we can move forward. But don't we you should think have the, the people too need to change. The G, a man you have not paid salary, you intentionally deprive him of his earnings, of his of this the, the the benefit of his labor. What do you expect him to do in some cases? That's why I'm telling you, even in changing, the man says I would vote for APC or I will vote for PDP. Either way, they are both sharing money. And so, either way, he gets something to take home. So, he's not the one saying, give me money for me to vote for you. It's the candidate now that I say, look, if you vote for my party, I will give you something. But if the candidates, if they do what they are supposed to do, as when they are supposed to do it, you won't have all of these things. Be because, you, uh, you know, imagine if both of us were contesting, uh, uh, look con at, contesting take, an election. Yeah. You were spending, I decide not to spend. I, I'll, I'll definitely be worried because, you know. You, you, will, be, you will be worried, but... At the end of the day, if, if the process is transparent enough, you might come out victorious in spite and of the fact that you that, had that, not... That's a big give. Yeah. That's a big give. But, yeah. but let's just, because we just yeah. have to wrap up now. V very quickly, what, what do you expect from the, the incoming government? Because uh, fact is that, look, you, you would expect that Fire Me Too would have learned his lessons. No, no doubt. They, he, don't, they never learned their no, lessons. No, no doubt. He, he, did, he did very, I mean, at least... To a large extent, he, he did well in his first term. But uh, part of the problem that the Ikiri people said then uh, was that he, he did not ingratiate himself. As in, he did not mix with the people the way Fayoshi did. And, uh, well, but Fayoshi mixed with the people, and um, the, there were no project or infrastructure to show. So there should be a, a balance of votes. Maybe that's what and, the people and, want. And so the, what the people want is... While we want you to provide infrastructure, we also want to see you because you are representing us. We want to be able to relate with you. And then also, the, one of the things that he was accused of then was that, you know, he went to Lagos to bring in Lagos people and Lagos contractors. And so the funds were not domiciled in a kitty. kitty. The funds were, you know, repatriated back to Lagos. So all of these are learning points for him. And also, this... Um, um, grammars of oh, uh, uh, um, reconstruction and um, you know taking back the land to the days of glory. All of these are slogans. It is time now. Government should learn to hit the ground running. And when we say hit the ground running, it is not you get there and then you begin to create excuses. Oh, the former government emptied treasury. 
because during campaigns, you almost said that also, that, look, these people have done nothing. Mm. And if you come, you're going to... Do. Now, the issue of salary is at the top bonus. Very sacrosanct. What are you going That's to the first do? Thing. What are you going to do to ensure that salaries are paid regularly? For about eight secondly, months, secondly, the Fulani headsman crisis and the grazing reserves vis-a-vis uh, -vis the um, uh, ranching, it's a big problem also that... Some people had praised fire shape for how this new governor will handle it also will tell, you know, the acceptability of his mm. party in subsequent elections. Okay, but very quickly, I, I keep saying it will be the last. <laughs> As we speak now, the, the PDP is the dominant party in the State House of Assembly. Uh, so, uh, obviously, uh, the, the fire me is going to inherit that house because the, the elections of the State House of Assembly, I think, should be uh, yeah. sometime later. Uh, what do you see in the coming days? You, you see some of these members, of course, jumping sheep. And <laughs> it's not his <laughs> first time. So, he inherited a house... Uh, yeah. Predominantly PDP, uh, and eventually they all moved. And to eventually, the other side. he was able to meander through. Uh, for me, he he's um, the weight of experience from first term, mm. and the politics of it should you know teach him so, enough lessons. So you, you, you won't be surprised if, if you if if in the coming days you you saw uh, a wave of defections, if you like. In well, the definitely, house I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be because um, this is a country of um, no political ideologies, and so now you have a new cook in the kitchen. And so definitely you are going to see some realignment, you know, for people. And, and from this also. moment on, Fire Show would begin to see the difference now. Uh, so certain things would, would, would be changing no, as no, we def speak. Definitely. Some of his well, orders would no longer be carried yes, out. Yes, the first, yes, because the, what will happen now is, you know, there will be, you like it happened before. You hear that um, there have been instructions that accounts, state accounts should be frozen. You know, uh, so that um, government will not be the outgoing government will not be able to access funds. That, you know, but these are steps to ensure that you you are able to protect you know funds and um, um, avoid the financial impropriety mm -hmm. for the incoming governor. And then also the speaker of the state house of assembly, his seat is going to be you know a very hot one now because they will <laughs> need somebody who would you know also be loyal to the. Incoming governor. So it might not and be surprising if the speaker defects. I mean, the, the, at least to preserve his own seat. Because another problem is defecting is not the issue here because there are some people who have been waiting in the lounge who are with this incoming political party mm -hmm. who would expect to benefit from their labor. So that is and, another issue. You know, so that's another issue. So right. you might defect and they tell you, well, you are just coming in, so you have to go bid your time. This is not. Um, the party where, you know, who you had risen to, you know, you know that level. All right, so. Libros, thank you very much for coming on the program. And, uh, well, we only wish the people of Ikiri the best of luck. Exactly. And we wish the incoming government also, yes. you know, the best of luck. luck. Thank you very much for coming on the program. A pleasure. Thanks. All right, we'll take a short break now and uh, we'll be right back to talk about something else. On Deji360, we don't just ask the questions. What is wrong with amending the constitution the way uh, the, the National Assembly members have been doing it? We seek answers. The constitution is constituent. Our problem is not um, lack of laws. Our problem is lack of the willpower to implement our laws. Answers that provide clarity. While we negotiate, we should try to make it a point that the girls must be complete. The clarity you need okay. to make informed judgment so that you can make the right decision and take action. People are saying it is you politicians that are responsible for this, that you are the reason oh. why this is happening. All these dollars that call themselves governors in this country? I wish we had people like Tony at the National Assembly. God forbid that I go to join that team. Uh, Why not? DG360, providing clarity to issues.